Brothers and sisters in Christ, as we continue the 15th week and ordinary time, we all believe that our existence is all about to make decisions because we are called rational created being. By that, my dear brothers and sisters, we are possessing intellectual capacity patterned in the will of God. In effect, in making our decisions are expectedly sound and acceptable in the eyes of God. We are now, mother, brothers and sisters, we are here every day to make a decision. Yes, every day we make our own decisions that bring us to the fullness of our life. We can say that our life will be defined by what is our output of using our intellectual freedom, considering our beliefs that are translated into a spiritual journey associated and with our identity to uphold the will of God. Hearing in our gospel today, mother, brothers, and sisters, there is a disturbing effect that could feel anyhow because it is very, norm very normal as we understood the image of Jesus in our lives. He is the king or the prince of peace. He is the element or the very person in our lives that we are united, living together as one family. As we heard in our gospel today, do not think that I have come to bring peace upon the earth. I have come to bring not peace, but sword. For I have come to set a man against his father, a, ma a daughter against her mother, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law, and one's enemies will be those of his household. Mother, brothers, and sisters, very obvious there is a division which peace versus the sword. Jesus, truly in our understanding, in our belief, He is the true image of peace and unity. While the sword, mentioning in our gospel today, brings us or the image of violence and at most war. But dear brothers and sisters, bringing to us in our spiritual dimension, truth is revealed to us. In a sense of the power of the gospel, by the truth, we are deeply united in God, pursuing the attributes in our daily lives. In contrast, the division which the refusal of the uni being united to God in truth, this is somehow troubling our, our emotion, our daily life, and effect in our belief to Him. And nowadays, my dear brothers and sisters, in our culture, offer us what we call relativism. This is the idea of what is good and true for me. May not be good, true, and good for you, but that in spite of all, giving different truths, we can still be one. Yung paniniwala na sa akin ay tama, sa'yo ay hindi ko alam kung tama o tatanggapin mo, basta ako, ito ang aking pinaninindigan, ito ang aking pinaniniwalaan. I don't mind if you believe too. Sometimes, my dear brothers and sisters, this is our standing in our daily lives. Tayo po ay may sariling pinanindigan na kung saan hindi natin alam kung ito ba ay tama o tanggap o sangayon ang iba. But we believe on this, mother, brothers and sisters. We cannot deny the fact that we have different opinions, 
Ano po? Mayroon po tayong mga kakanya-kanyang prinsipyo na pinaniniwalaan. Sometimes, and I believe, sana yung pinaniniwalaan natin tama at maayos para sa atin. Very personal sa ating pag-unawa sa pagsasabuhay nito. Pero hindi natin alam kung ito ba ay tama o tanggap sa iba. In this is cause of division. Sometimes, we are creating division because of our principle, our opinion that we are bringing every day in our lives. Ayaw po natin magpasakop kung minsan. Ayaw po natin tanggapin din ng opinion ng iba o pinaniniwalaan ng, bika, ng iba because we are stand of our own understanding of our own principle. That is why Jesus in our gospel today, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus now and every day is always standing before us asking a question, very personal question, are you for me or not? In making decision every day, my dear brothers and sisters, are we answering the call and following the commands of God in the will of God? That is why bringing Jesus Christ in our lives, sometimes ito po ay tanggap ng iba, ang iba ay hindi, kaya nagkakaroon ng division. But again, my dear brothers and sisters, the Lord asking you very personal every day, are you with me or not? That is why in my reflection today, we are reminded to emphasize our in making decision every day. Because by our decision every day, that tells us who we are before the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, if we stand before the Lord, we are strongly carrying His will, His commandments that we manifested in our lives every day. I hope and pray, my dear brothers and sisters, si Jesus ang ating daladala sa ating buhay. Ito man ay kumbaga sa iba ay hindi katanggap-tanggap. But my dear brothers and sisters, by doing so, faithfully, you are strongly accepted and embracing the will and the power of God. Living in the presence of Christ in you, you are truly a called a children of God. You are true the very image bringing Christ in our lives every day. That is why, mother, brothers, and sisters, in our gospel today, we are reminded, ano ba ang iyong desisyon sa araw-araw? Ito ba ay para sa Diyos? O ito ba ay para ipakilala lang ang iyong sarili? Even us, we are divided. Even us, we are in trouble. But for sure, mother, brothers, and sisters, bringing and deciding every day, truly and faithfully bringing Christ in our lives, you are standing at peace, not in war, not in trouble. That is the assurance of our gospel today, our celebration today. That is why as we continue our lives, our continue our, our journey every day, my dear brothers and sisters, I hope and pray that we all together as children of God, carrying the very presence of God in us, proclaiming the word of God, proclaiming the will of God in our action, truly we are standing not for war, but for unity in being united in one decision, proclaiming Christ in our lives. Amen.